All right, here we go. We're going to uh, go over a couple of videos for section 3.5. They'll all be separate videos, but it will be three of them. So the first of which we'll start off with question number one. Um, I want to remind everyone before we get started that the step-by-step -step procedure for um, making a box plot can be found on page 166. So if you need a printout or if you need a visual, um, this video goes too quickly, um, you can always go to page 166 and it tells you exactly what key to push and when to push it. Um, the main thing you will have to make sure you do is clear your list before you get started. So we are going to use the graphing calculator to find our five number summary and our interquartile range. And so to do that, let's go ahead and pull up our graphing calculator. And there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and make that just a little bit bigger. Alright. Let's pause for a second. Be right back. And here we go. So, to put our numbers into our graphing calculator, what we want to do is we go to the stat button. Stat button is located in the middle of the keyboard. You press that stat button, it takes you to a screen that looks something like this. To edit your list, we're going to go ahead and press enter or choose number one, edit. Now, once you get to this spot, I want to say a couple things to you. You got to remember that if you were doing this by hand, the first thing that you would have to do is to arrange the data in order. But one of the key things about a graphing calculator, you don't have to put the data in order. You just have to put it into the list. If your L1 is not already empty, then remember at this point you'll need to up arrow and press clear and press enter, and that will clean your L1 out. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our data into L1. So our data for L1 is 8, enter, 12, enter. 32, enter, 6, enter, 27, enter, 19, enter, 54, enter. So now we have our data into L1. At this point, if you go to page 166 in your textbook, then what you'll see is the next thing it says for you to do is to um, change your windows. So in the Windows menu, it says they want to change your X min and X max. Well, we're going to skip that step because I have a little shortcut to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right to number three. So we're going to press second and Y equals, or it's just called the stat plot button. It's going to take you to a screen that looks something like this. We're going to go inside of plot number one. So to go into plot number one, you'll press enter. And at this point, we need to turn plot number one on. So we're going to, right there, see how it's flashing on top of plot number one? So if you press on, or press enter, now the on is highlighted in dark black. And now we can go ahead and go down to the next option. So right this moment, we are on um, number five off of page 166. We're going to move our arrow down one time to choose our type of graph. Well, let me give you a rough um, idea of what's going on here with these graphs. The first one is going to be a stat plot. The second one is a stat plot with a line connecting the dots. The third is a histogram. The fourth is a box and whisker plot or a box plot with um, outliers. So this is a way to tell. The calculator actually, you know, we had the outlier formula from section 3-4. This is actually, you can put the data into your graphing calculator, choose this particular data plot, and that data plot would then, um, if it had an outlier, it would calculate it for you and show you. Well, we don't think we have an outlier, so we're going to go ahead and go to um, the fifth option, which is a regular box plot without outliers. And then the last one, just so you know, is called an Ogavi or, or Ogive um, or a cumulative frequency graph. So we're going to choose number five. To choose it, we press enter once we're on top of it. And you'll notice now it's saying, where is your information coming from? and we want it to come from L1. At this point, this is where we're going to go and fix um, our window. So instead of going to the window button, we're going to go to the zoom button. So we're going to go zoom, and we're going to go down to number 9. Because what number 9 does for us is it takes, and it does what's called a zoom stat. So a zoom stat means it's going to zoom in on the numbers that we have in our data set. So we press enter. And there we go, we've got our box and whisker plot. Now, one key thing that's happened right now is, is that 
we have this great box and whisker plot, but we need to identify a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and pull it down because we need to identify our minimum. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's just press our, oops, my bad. Let's go trace. And when we do trace, you'll notice now we're on L1, the list L1, and our data at the bottom says we're at the median, which is 19. Well, we're looking for the minimum. So let's arrow over, and there we go. The minimum is 6. So at this point, we can see in, in this case here that our minimum is 6. We can arrow over one more time. We can see that our quartile 1, and oops, sorry, take a picture. Our quartile 1 is at 8. We can arrow over one more time, and we can see that our median is at 19. And you don't have to take pictures like I'm doing right here. Well, you can't because you're not using a graphing calculator the way I am. But I'm just doing this so that we can keep the data on the screen. We can see that our Q3 is 32. And last but not least, we can see that our maximum is 54. All right, so now just real quickly so we can see all this stuff. Let me just kind of move some stuff around here a little bit. There we go. And so if we scroll down here we can see, oh sure enough, let me just minimize the calculator. So our minimum is 6, super, we got that. Our median is 19, super, we got that. Our maximum is 54, great, we got our maximum is 54. Um, quartile 1 is 8, Super, we got that. Our quartile 3 is 32. So super, there's quartile 3 right there. Let me change colors there so it stands out. So there was our min, there was our median, there's our max. Quartile 1, quartile 3, that's great. We're getting everything we needed. And then our last one was quartile, interquartile range. Well, our, our graphing calculator won't actually tell us the interquartile range. So what we have to do is we have to do it ourselves. Sorry. So at this point, what we have to do is we have to say Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is 32 minus Q1, which is 8, which is equal to 24. So our IQR is 24. And that's how we're going to use our graphing calculator to create a box plot to be able to find the mean, I'm sorry, the minimum our five number summary along with our interquartile range, our range.